What's up y'all, it's Naja from All Things Naja and I'm back with another video. So for many people who have bought a Cricut or have been gifted a Cricut, many people are very intimidated by the machine and don't really know where to start. So if you bought your Cricut or were gifted your Cricut with the intention on making t-shirts, I'm gonna show you guys how to get started on your first simple project. And no, I'm not talking about something so simple, but something that actually looks like a pretty good project. So if you guys are interested keep watching this video let's go all right people so we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to Cricut design space and getting this project started now before I get this project started I'm gonna let you know that the two different fonts that I am using both came from defont.com that's d-a-f-o-n-t dot com the fonts are called Janda manatee bold and the other font is called i love glitter hopefully you all can keep up i'm going to try to keep it as simple as i can so i'm going to press new project and of course they're doing an update while i'm trying to do a video but we've gone ahead and pressed new project. Hopefully this update does not work against me. I pressed text and I'm gonna go ahead and press text again and move them from the side of each other. So the first font is going to be called Janda, so I'm going to type in Jan, and here it is, Janda Manatee Solid. I'm going to go ahead and type Mom, and then the second text we'll work with in a minute, but first with Mom, we're going to go ahead and make Mom bigger, about 10 inches, that's about 10 and a half and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to just hide that text um, over there. Now we're going to go ahead over here to shapes and press shapes. Grab a square. When you have the square, you're going to press this unlock button. This allows you to make the square whatever size you want it to be as a rectangle or a square. Then we're going to just press this little arrow button over here, the four arrows and just make it skinnier. And then I'm going to click and drag over the rest of the word mom. And now you see it like this. I'm going to try to center it in the middle of the O. I'm using the O as the, you know, um, guide. And I can even just make it a little skinnier just so you can clearly see that it says mom even when it's cut out. Then I'm gonna press over here. Then I'm going to click and drag over these two pieces. Now I'm gonna go down here in this corner and I'm going to press slice. And what that is gonna do is cut that shape out of the word mom. And now I'm just gonna grab the word mom and move it away and click and drag over the rest of this and press backspace and that's going to go ahead and delete it so now we have this to work with and yes you can see it says mom you can make it bigger you can make it smaller but it is exactly what i wanted it to look like so now we're going to just move that out of the way and now we're going to work on this other text so we're going to we're just going to uh-oh we're just going to Grab this text and move it over. Now we're gonna double click and we're going to change this text over here, up here where it says font. We're gonna change the font to I love glitter. So I'm gonna type in I love glitter and here it is. I'm going to click on I love glitter and I'm going to go ahead and shape the text how I want it to be shaped. And basically only thing that I'm using are the letters and the little hearts in between. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm gonna type in my older sister's name. So that's her name. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press, press the letter, press shift, and then I'm going to press the special character that is just the up and down line. It's just the line. And what that's gonna do is add that little heart. And that's how you add the little heart between the letters. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in my name and do the same thing. Press shift and press the up and down heart. I mean the up and down line. This is the key on the keyboard that is the backslash. So there we go. And now I'm just gonna type in my younger sister's name. And now that that's done, this is what it looks like. So now I can go ahead and grab mom and grab those letters, make them as big, like I said, you can make them as big as you want, as small as you want, it's up to you, it's your project. And this is exactly how I want the project to look. Actually might make the names just a little bit bigger. The biggest I'm gonna make the names is about 11.3 because I wanna just keep this on one. All right, y'all, so I know this angle is weird. I was looking at the viewfinder. Okay, I'm gonna look at the camera. Zero win with me. I know this angle is weird, but it's okay. You can see me, whatever. So I'm actually doing this video with, I'm actually doing this video with Econo Transfer, Econo, Econo. Either way, they sent me a bunch of vinyl and y'all, I love this vinyl. This vinyl was dope. So I'm going to go ahead and use these um, vinyls in this video. And before I get started, here's my mat. I'm actually going to be cleaning this mat in a different video. So I'm going to be talking about my mat, y'all. I know it look crazy, but whatever. And I kind of like how I'm giving vlogger in this video, but whatever. So I actually put all three of the projects onto one because don't nobody got time to be having to do 15 different projects at the same time. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna be using, let me show you the vinyls that I'll be using from Econo Transfer. So I'm gonna be using this one, every for everywhere that was like black in the, um, so for the word mom, I'm gonna be using this one. And they actually have the names on the inside. This is their Econo Flex Flower. And they gave me this big old roll of vinyl, y'all. Like, let me show you guys a regular roll so that you can see what I'm talking about. Like, this is a regular roll size, and then this is the size they that they sent. So you get your bang for your buck, y'all. And I've used their vinyl and their um leopard, um, in the leopard. So I know that they have really good vinyl. It really weeds really nicely. So yeah. So here's the vinyl that I'm going to be using for the word mom. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. And then this is what I'm going to use for the inside. Hmm, I want the colors to like coincide. So I think these are going to be what I'm going to be using. They actually sent me this one too. And this one is their Econo V in dragon fruit. So this is a really cute color. And I think it goes with the pink that's in here. And then I actually used offset for the word. And I'm just going to use a black sizer for that. But yes, I'm going to be using these two. And I'm going to show you guys how I press it out, how I put it on the mat. Well, I don't need to show you guys how I put it on the mat. I'm going to put it on the mat exactly how the computer tells me to put it on the mat. But okay, I'm going to show you guys how I press it out next. All right. So the Cricut is done cutting and this is what it looks like when it is still on my mat. Now a little trick is I like to weed off of my mat. So if you know what that means, that basically means I like to leave it, leave the um, vinyl on the mat and then carefully just weed these items off 
so that they're not like rolling all over the place and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed this, then we're gonna take it straight to the heat press. Speaking of the press, this is my TransPro Plus 1620. I received this from Pro World Inc. I've already spoken about Pro World in a few of my videos, but go ahead and check out ProWorld.com. I'll leave my link in the description bar below. And that is your way of supporting my channel without actually any extra cost to you. So yeah. So that weaves very easily. Now this is the size of vinyl, which never really gives me a hard time. The pink is going to be the most detailed press. I mean, peel, weed. That is the offset weed. Just going to go in and grab any of the in-between pieces. Let's do more. Now we're going to have to be very careful with um, peels like this because it is very small lettering. So just got to give it a little bit more care than I did with that one. Because I know someone's going to ask, I like to cover the surface area of my press, the bottom, with um, parchment paper because I do work a lot with like infusible ink and um, sublimation ink. And I just don't want my white shirt, because I'm going to be using a white shirt for this, to get dirty with any type of ink. So I do use parchment paper on the bottom and the top of the design when I'm pressing. So yeah, just wanted to stop it and say that while my press is heating up. All right, y'all, so it is time to go ahead and get this shirt pressed out. This is a 2X Gildan t-shirt. And what I like to do when I'm starting off with my press is I like to start with a nice clean press. So I'm going to be using some spray starch. I use just a little bit. I do not doused it in spray starch. So I just use a little bit and that is enough. And I'm going to go ahead and pre-press so that I just have a nice clean surface to work with. Making sure that my press is pushed all the way in. And I'm going to go ahead and press down on my area. I'm not going to fully press pressing the press down, but just pressing it out. So I can go ahead like that. Now, I actually just broke one of my own rules because I do like to use some parchment paper on top before I actually press. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice sheet of parchment paper so that it can be covered before I press anything onto the shirt. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my first piece which is the mom with the making sure that nothing is on the film. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball the center, stepping behind it, doing whatever I got to do to make sure that it looks centered. Looks pretty good to me. Then I'm going to go ahead and press. And I'm going to only press it for about 7 to 10 seconds. It's fully pushed in. And I'm going to go ahead and press. So that was 10 seconds. I'm going to see if it's ready to pull. not quite ready to pull so I think I'm going to give it a few seconds while getting my next piece ready and my next piece is the offset in black I'm going to try to pull again 
from a different area and it is ready to pull. So there we go, we got the bones down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the offset piece and go ahead and center it in the middle of the design. That looks good. Go ahead and press my parchment paper and I'm going to press it for about 10 seconds. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lift. And size of rhino is usually just a, a hot peel. So I went ahead and peeled that. I'm going to do the final part which is to lay down all right it's looking good go ahead and do this final press for 60 seconds And it looks really good, y'all. So that is how I do the layered mom shirt. This is the final project, you all. It came out really nice. Let me get up close. I think it came out really nice. This vinyl was really easy to work with and they sent me some really nice, you know, um, patterns that I haven't seen before. Like I haven't seen this flower before and I think it was perfect for like Mother's Day, even though I know I'm a little late for Mother's Day. We have mothers all year round, so I mean we can gift these gifts all year round. And you don't just have to put mom, you can put dad, you can put auntie, you can put cousin, whatever you want to put and put the names there. And that's a perfect gift for a birthday. It's a perfect gift for an event. So if you guys liked this video, I want you to go ahead and click like. And please comment and let me know what you want to see in the future. Subscribe to my channel. And I do want you guys to go ahead and check out Econo Transfer. Thank you guys so much for sending me these vinyls to work with. And I will definitely be using you guys in the future. Please check them out, guys. The vinyl was great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye y'all.